Hey guys, how are y'all doing and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to smooth out the water when you're shooting at the beach. You got all these ripples on the water, they're kind of ugly. And the way you smooth those ripples out is by taking a long exposure. Anytime you take a long exposure photograph you have to be worried about um, vibrations, you know, any kind of movement at all will blur your image. If you've ever tried to take a long exposure, you know, photograph handheld and it didn't come out, it's probably because your hands were just vibrating a little bit and, uh, you know, that's the reason it didn't come out. So the way you remedy that is by stabilizing in your phone that's why I've got my tripod out here if you don't have a tripod like this you know something like this will work as well just as well too like I say the purpose of the tripod is just to stabilize the phone so once you've got your phone stable the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download an app called even longer I'm not affiliated with even longer but in 20 uh, let's see this is December of 2023 right now even longer is the best long exposure uh, app available it will give you the best quality and that's why we're going to use it so go ahead and download that app and once you've got that downloaded I'll bring you back and I'm going to get screen record going and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay so now that we've got even longer open the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go to this uh, settings up here in the upper right hand corner and the total time is the first thing you're going to see. Now in my last uh, video I did a tutorial on how to take a, a long exposure of a waterfall and we had the time set for one second. That's not going to work for smoothing out the water at the beach so we're going to up that all the way to two minutes. Oh, there we go. Boom. Two minutes. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to have to uh, set a timer. Because like I say, even a vibration on the phone is going gonna, is gonna to mess up your image. So we're going to set up a two-second timer. Then we're going to click the X on the upper right-hand corner and get out of here. Now, the next thing you need to know about this app is that it always overexposes. Right now, it's the EV is set for zero. We want to lower that number. We want to darken down the image a little bit. Let's check negative one and see how that looks. I don't know if that's quite dark enough. I'm just going to go a little bit lower. Let's go negative one and two thirds. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, the next thing you know, that we're going to go look at is we've got this autofocus, manual focus down here. Um, for the purpose of keeping this tutorial short, we're going to go with autofocus, and you can rely on autofocus about 95% of the time. It'll give you a good clean image. There are, you know, some situations where it won't work out, but okay, here we go. We've got our timer set for two minutes. We're on autofocus. ISO is at 57. The only thing left to do now is to hit the shutter button. Let's do it. I don't know where these waves came from, but they just kicked up. It seems like right exactly when I hit the shutter button. And uh, at this point, I was in full-on panic mode, but I didn't want to run out there to rescue the tripod after all this work that I had just put in. So I just, you know, I crossed my fingers and waited until the countdown got to, down to one second. And then I ran out there and saved it. Now this app has a lot of features too. Let's see, you've got your, your autofocus and your manual focus down here. You've got a level, you've got a, you've got a histogram, you've got some grids you can throw up on screen. And if you guys are interested in learning more about this app, I, I do have tutorials and I'm going to put them up. Um, clickable links at the end of the video on the end screen and down in the de description box below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next week.